Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, I am Angie, Sparkle with Angie. Um, today I'm doing the review on the L'Oreal new Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Now, this just recently came out in the last month or so, past, past few past few weeks. Past few weeks, excuse my squeaky chair. And you guys will be asking what's on my lips. It's a Jeffree Star. I like rock a new Jeffree Star lip every video. It's um, Rose Matter, his new one that just came out. And this is what it looks like. It looks, I don't know, it dries darker. It dries like a hint darker than what it is in here, but I really love it. It looked a little neon when I first tried, started putting it on, but then like it dried a little bit darker, so I really like it. And it's different. It's like different than what I usually wear, so I thought I'd put a new lip on for you guys. My hair is pulled back, it's a little hot in here. My lashes are Ardell 206. Those are the questions you guys usually ask me. On my nails, I have Bared All by um, Sally Hansen, Extreme Nails. This one right here, that's what I have on my nails right now. It's like three, two, three bucks, you know, it's real cheap, so... Let's get to working with what we came here to see. Now I do have a demo on how I apply it, how it looks like before concealer, powder, highlight, bronzer, blush, you know, all the 300 products I put on my face. Um, this is the end result. You guys are really close to me, but you guys see how flawless it looks. Now I didn't want to do like a complete first impression, like put it on, on camera with you guys because I do like to wear foundations like longer to see how they last, how they work, because this claims to be 24 hours. Some of the other claims are it's air light texture, it's medium coverage, um, 24 hours, and it's the finish is radiant. The other one that they have, the Infallible Pro Matte, I have in 105 and 106. This one claims to be a demi matte finish, 24 hour, medium coverage, and air light finish. Sunday. Saturday I went out with my boyfriend. We went like on a picnic. It was really hot out. We did that. You know, you, you make out a little bit. It doesn't pass the make out test. It does not. It does come off around the lip area and my nose. Um, you know, when you make out with somebody, that's that's a foundation that I want to find that's like makeup proof. So if you guys know of a foundation like that, let me know. These are not makeup proof. I've tried this one. Makeup proof. It's not. And this one is not either. Um, but it did last through like, um, I put it on on Saturday at 11. We didn't make out till like 4 o'clock. So it lasted that long. It did not move, did not budge. I was sweating. I was like, you know, like a little piggy, like in a blanket. Like it was really hot out. And then... We will, I reapplied it because we went to a fest afterwards. If you guys saw my Snapchat, I look very glowy because I put a lot of highlight on that day. I was like super highlighted. Um, and it did last through like the heat of people everywhere. Like I, it was just, it lasted till I got home around 12 or 1 o'clock at night. It lasted from like 7 to 12. So if you're not making out with anybody, you're not touching your face, it's going to last on your face. Sunday, I wore it all day at my job my job was so hot i was sweating the only place i got oily was my nose my nose was like extra oily it was like extra shiny like holy shit girl what the fuck these this one pulls more neutral which is like yellow and pink these pull really yellow on me i have to put really really light concealer when i use this one because it's really yellow i mean i am more on the yellow side but not that yellow and this one is like my perfect match i use color 208 and this and I use 206 or 205 depending on how I feel that day 
um, and these and I just I mean 106 or 105 208 now let's swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys see what I'm talking about this one is a more runny formula this is a 20 um 208 by the glow one we'll put on the one I usually wear from L'Oreal the infallible you guys see how much more yellow it is the other one's a little bit more neutral this one is a little bit thicker than the other one well not thicker it's like more dense it's less liquidy than the other one but these do blend out really nicely so kind of blended them out for you guys it does not oxidize it does like pull more of a glowy look like the more you let it sit on your skin the better it looks throughout the day again I did have to touch up on my nose you guys know my nose is a problem nothing stays on it at all like literally nothing will stay on it Overall, it's a really good foundation. I bought it at Walgreens for $12.99. You could probably find it cheaper at Walmart or at Target. But I feel like if you mix these two together, you would get like the perfect like foundation. Because if you do like the matte on your T-zone and like the rest you do glow, it will look fucking perfect. I am in love with this foundation. I love it a hundred times more than the Milani one, honestly. Like I do. It's a couple more bucks, but like I feel like this one is like... You could build it up to full coverage. You won't look cakey. It's going to last a long ass time. You look glowy. You look J-Lo-esque, whatever. You look ready for summer. You look fan freaking tastic. So I give this one like a... I give it a 10. I mean, no. I take it back. I give it a 9.5. Because you didn't pass the makeup session. Like, test. You didn't pass it. I don't think any foundation has passed that. So when you f pass my makeup test then you're gonna be a number 10 but the f before that you know you you a number 9.5 i love it like them they have i think they had about 12 shades they didn't have really really dark shades from what i saw but they didn't yeah because this is 208 already and this is my skin color which i'm like medium tan so you need to expand your range to fit the darker skinned women and i didn't check if they had a really really light like really really light one i just know that they um is go get it um for oily skin people just set your t-zone don't let nobody tell you you can't wear this because you can wear whatever the hell you want to wear and if you're dry skin you're probably going to be in love with this because it just like doesn't feel like like cake and like it doesn't cling to dry patches you guys know i do have some dry areas i love it so I hope you guys enjoyed the review if you guys want me to do more foundation reviews and like do demos in them and like my videos let me know in the comments below let me know what other foundations you guys want me to try because I've been like foundation and concealer 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 hunting for the longest like I don't want to buy super expensive foundations anymore I want to keep like on the lower end side so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will see you guys very very soon bye